Hey there, and welcome back to EDU and 90. Last week, we kicked off season five by looking at G Suite for Education updates, including rubrics and SIS sync. If you missed that episode, we've linked it in the description below. This week, we're back with another round of updates. We'll take a look through some important updates on computer science education, G Suite certifications, and more. When they enter the workforce, today's students will be expected to be proficient in digital tools like G Suite. The G Suite certification allows students to demonstrate their knowledge of G Suite tools like Gmail, Docs, and Drive, which can be important for future universities and employers. We already have a certification for businesses and higher education, and now it's available for K-12 students. The exam was recently awarded the ISTE Seal of Alignment, and registration information can be found below. In June, we published the Future of the Classroom Global Report. Developed in partnership with a global team of researchers and analysts, the report examines eight evidence-based shifts in K-12 education, including computational thinking, life skills and workforce preparation, and student-led learning. Check out g.co slash future of the classroom to view the full report, read expert interviews, and explore educator resources. We believe that training, resources, and community for teachers are key to improving equity in CS education and expanding access for all students. To that end, we recently announced Code with Google, a comprehensive CS resource for educators. It brings together Google's free curriculum and programs that build coding skills, from beginner level to advanced, all to help students succeed. Teachers can integrate CS First into their classroom, guide their high school students to free code learning app Grasshopper to learn JavaScript, or share CS scholarship opportunities with students. And lastly, Applied Digital Skills now has seven new lessons focused on digital well-being. Teachers can use these free project-based lessons to teach students how to build healthy digital habits, avoid online scams, understand their digital footprint, and more. Check them out via the links below. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time for more EDUN90. Rubrics, SIS Sync, and more. Check out our last episode to catch up on the latest G Suite for Education news.